Hello. Hey, y'all. I'm Matt, and this is Jen, and we're going to Russia again. All right, so we've done Russia before. I believe it was a snack crate. This is Universal Yums. I'm hopeful that maybe we'll have all new snacks. That would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Universal Yums, they do a really great job. Uh, again, they're a snack subscription box that is all themed to one particular country at a time. And cracking it open. Oh, you get a sticker! Yeah, that's mine. Um, <laughs> Right on top, they have this really cool little like placemat or what have you that's got little fun facts about the country that you're going to, and we're going to Russia. Uh, and then on the back, there's a way that you can do ratings and things like that. But, you know, of course, we've got our own ratings. Uh, and then there's an awesome little booklet that has more stuff about Russia and then stuff about the snacks. Usually there's a couple of cool recipes for food that you can make and things like that. It's a great trip to... Uh, a country, it's a great little cultural experience if that's what you're looking for. So yep. do give them a try. But let's dive right into some Russian snacks. All right, snack time right on top. We've got, oh, Ashley says it's snack time. <laughs> uh, but it's some kind of chips, and there is a kebab featured on the bag of chips. So yeah, it's kebab chips. It's barbecue kebab. Potato crisps, fresh Russian barbecue flavor, no skewers needed. Skewers? No skewers. No yeah. Skewers. Say that in Russian. Let's see here. There's a lot of Russian on the packaging. It looks pretty legit. Oh, they're uh, they're kind of weird. Uh, they're like this little, like weird kind of texture. They Ooh. almost look like uh, styrofoam. Or baked. Yeah, yeah kind of like baked chips maybe. Boop. Oh no, styrofoam. Yeah, very strange. Tastes a little, very uh, like artificial. Let's see, are they even made out of potato? Well, it's in Russian, so we'll never know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it kind of has a like a barbecuey, maybe like paprika smoky flavor, but the texture is all wrong. It is literally like little like curls of styrofoam. -y. Yeah. The flavor isn't terrible. That one wasn't any better. The flavor's not terrible. It's definitely a texture thing for me. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, that, that flavor was odd as well. Oh, as I'm something. not going to try another one then. Yeah. So, in true Matt and Jen fashion, we have come up with a rating scheme specific to Russia. Uh, Russian words are not easy, we discovered. But <laughs> for tasty, awesome, we're going with Vekushna. For okay, just kind of middle of the road, we've got uh, Lodna. And for awful, we've got... Ujakuna, or something like that. They sound just like yes, that. Yes, it's a Ujasna, Ujasna. Yes. So I mean, these. I hate to give them a Ujasna uh, right out of the uh, the gate, but uh, I'll give them a a Ladna. Yeah. But, uh, they're just okay. I'll go with that. Yeah. This is a very happy looking horse. <laughs> Strawberry, caramel, and vanilla gummies. Ooh. Ooh. And there's quite a few in there. It's uh, It's got... The... Caramel sounds... Caramel. Feels like a weird flavor to be a gummy. Yeah, caramel gummy. I don't I don't know about that. And but... vanilla gummy. Yeah, we'll ooh, see. Ooh. They smell interesting. They, they kind of smell like a combination of fruit and caramel, though. It's all in Russian, but it's kind of neat on the back of the package. There's like ways that you can combine the different flavors to make them taste like cotton candy or ice cream or things like that. So that's kind of neat, but uh, we don't read Russian, so it's going to be a challenge. Yeah. I'm guessing this is caramel because it's kind of caramel color. Boop. Oh, very gummy. Extraordinarily chewy. I'm not getting caramel yet. Well, it kind of tastes like milk or something or brown sugar. So know. chewy. It's a, uh, yeah, that's definitely odd. I don't know about that one. Let's do red. Let's see what red is. Red's usually good. You know, you always like the red Starburst, red Skittles. It's strawberry. It's a Boop. strawberry heart. No, it tastes the same. It tastes very similar. I think in the package, maybe they just kind of take on the same flavor. And I'm seeing that there's only one of the Vanilla. third one. So we'll just share that one. Probably share the disappointment. Look at this. Ah! 
We do that in Russian. <laughs> all right. He's all mine, folks. I don't know that. Oh. Oh, that one's bad. Yeah, this one's like coffee almost. Ooh. It's supposed to be vanilla, no. but it's bad. That one's no. bad. That's why they only put one I in I love there. gummies, too. Like, usually when I see gummies, I'm like, oh, these are safe. These are not safe. These suck. Mm -mm. Uh, so, uh, we're breaking out the uh, Ljasna for these. Uh, these are, are not good. Yeah, not good at all. No, no, no. Oh, here we go. Waferish looking thing. Where there's always something wafer and usually something Nutella. Yeah. So check off wafer. This and is... check off Nutella because this is a oh. white chocolate and hazelnut cream wafer. Hazelnut cream. That sounds good. Luscious hazelnut cream and a sugar cone shell. This sugar delicious. cone. Yeah. Do you choose sugar cone or cake cone when you get ice cream though? You always choose um, sugar cone. No, I don't. Or Do not. Cone. I like the cake cone, and occasionally, if I'm going whole hog, I'll get the waffle cone. It looks like a friggin' um, mess! Yours is already coming apart. So yeah, it has like the little like wafery stuff on the bottom, but... Boop. Boop. Wow. Mmm, that's disappointing. Slightly better than the gummies, but not... It's very slightly. Ooh. It's the, uh, you know, like the chips, it's like this like fake... That wafer part of it is like like artificially like cardboardy mm -hmm. like styrofoam. Chewy. Uh uh The cream inside the cream is, is not good. bad. It's very sweet. I wouldn't say it was hazelnut flavor though. No, I don't think so. It's, it's like more vanilla, cream, like yeah, vanilla, vanilla cream. cream. Yeah. So not not awful, but it's it's kind of weird. All in Russian, so you do get that kind of legit vibe off of it. Yeah. It's a cultural experience of not tasting very good. Yeah. Uh, it's it's okay. It's a uh, uh, ladna. I think. Okay. Oh, really mushroom not... croutons! Oh, no. So I, I want to say, was it the last Russia box we Rusk. did had the rusks? Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of rusks. And the rusks were, were actually not bad. But I thought that they tasted like a crouton. These are actually called croutons. I don't know about mushroom, though. That's uh, Sometimes that can be a little earthy. That must be um, really a Russian thing because it says, Taste Russia's award-winning wild mushrooms. What award? Is there like a like mushroom contest somewhere? Yeah. Well, they won. Hmm. They smell interesting. I don't like mushrooms anymore. Anyway. They smell very like earthy. And it's like this weird little, again, like kind of fake looking. It actually kind of looks like a little crostini, maybe. Yeah, kind of. Let's try it. Boop. They're not, ooh. There's the like earth at the end of it. Yeah. Wow, we are not at a great on a great start. No, so it starts out like a kind of like a little crostini. It actually look, kind of looks just like a little like piece of bread that's crisped Ugh, up. I can't imagine how bad. My but it starts looks. out like kind of salty and buttery, and they're like, "Oh, this is okay," and then like it turns to like dirt, and you're like, "Oh, and it's chewy. this sucks." Yeah, and the middle is kind of chewy. Like, Man, these are not good. That's a bummer. Naturally and artificially flavored. Yeah, oh, I'll say. Okay, yeah. That combo didn't work. So, yeah. Not good. Uh, ujasna, for sure. Ugh. Oh, there's babushka! We had oh, the like, little uh, babushka. babushka in the last box, and I think it was good. It is all in Russian, but it looks like some kind of like chocolate-covered cookie, maybe? Let's see. It's, um, this is a little strange. Boiled milk and chocolate cake. Okay. Crafted by Russia's most famous chocolatier. So I think the little baby was on the chocolate bar, the famous chocolate yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah, it was huge too. It was like a gigantic, like five pound chocolate bar that we got. We had it for weeks. We were like chewing on it for days, yeah. I, I don't want to cut like her head off. Cut right into the babushka. That can't be good for karma. Oh, oh. Oh, it's oh. a little cake. It's all like squished. It's but it, but cake, it's like, but... yeah, it's like a little cake. It's, it's kind of squishy. And it's like chocolate covered. Boiled it's, milk. It smells exactly like a ding dong or ho ho. Oh yeah, it does. I'm gonna bite it. Get you some of that boiled milk. Oh, boiled milk. Is boiled milk brown? I, I don't know. Everybody likes a little refreshing glass of boiled milk. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I'm so, so surprised it's so soft. Yeah, we've talked about this quite a few times. In a lot of these boxes, we have discovered little like packaged slices of delicious moist cake the u.s where is it you know where is our little slice of cake there, there's been like 10 other countries that have 
something like this is like this delicious little piece of cake. This one's like chocolate covered. It's really great. Uh, so apparently you have to go overseas to get it. That's really good. This is awesome. I, this is definitely a Vukusna. Vukusna. Uh, delish. Yeah, we like it. Yum Yay! bag! Yay! We love the yum bag. The yum bag usually has like purse candy in it. But yeah. We're, we're going to see what it's got. All right. So what did we get? We got two kinds of fruit friend. Yeah. Which I feel like is probably like somebody's translation. Like, oh, friend, fruit. Those are both positives. They're exotic fruit jellies. Exotic. They do, they do feel squishy. And then uh, we got... Uh, Coconut ball. Coconut and white chocolate hazelnut balls. Yeah. That's that a, smells that, delicious. That's all, all good things, yeah. <laughs> Let's give Fruit Friend a try here. So these could be ripe mango, black currant mint, and strawberry pepper. So this looks like mango to me, right? It looks like random flavor. Strawberry pepper. That's yeah. what I like. So we have uh, chocolate toilet paper. This is mango, definitely, though. Oh, it smells like mango. Oh, sorry about Boop. that. Mm. This is... Definitely mango. Definitely better. Yeah, the last gummies, no, no. I don't like this texture either, Neat. but the, the flavor is... Yeah, the, it was very, very soft. It was not... I wouldn't say a gummy. I would say it's uh, like those like, little sun-kissed fruit slices. It's a jelly. Slices. If you've ever gotten those, yeah, it's uh, it's not chewy. It just really tastes like sugar. Like, yeah. You actually feel like there's sugar crunching between you your teeth. But uh, Fruit Friend Mango, pretty darn good. I, I, I'm uncomfortable giving that a, a, a vacusna. I like that. Woo! Um, so this looks like it is the purple, mint, purple. the black currant to mint. Mint. So it's not quite banana, which sucks. But I am generally disappointed when mint is thrown in on something that otherwise would be delish. Like when you see this like beautiful chocolate cake and you're like, oh, it's mint chocolate. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, you know, pass. Uh, but uh, uh, I'll try it. It's 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 the cultural experience. Mint. It smells minty. And it's like cough drop. Boop. Well, well. Oh, there's it the mint. Oh, it's like a mouthful of scope. Mm -hmm. Ugh. It tastes like toothpaste. No, no, no. Fruit friend, fruit enemy. No. Oh, oh. Really? Oh. It, it tastes like exactly like toothpaste or mouthwash. Lows. Ugh. That's bad. Uh, no, that is uh, Lujasna all, all day long. No. Coconut ball thing. I don't even want to eat both of them. Can okay. we just share yes, one? Yes, we can just share one. Okay, oh, so it's pretty. this is a creamy, nutty luxury. Ooh, I love white chocolate. Mmm, it smells good. It kind of looks like oh, it smells cauliflower, kinda... though. Which is like, hopefully, it doesn't taste like it cauliflower. It smells very coconutty. Oh, it's crunchy in the middle. Aww. It's okay. I'm a little disappointed. It does, it actually has the consistency in the middle of like real coconut though, like flakes of coconut. So that's really appealing. But it has like this like, like wafer shell mm -hmm. inside of it that is not very good. It's again, it's kind of like this like artificially like texture to it. And I get no hazelnut, but I think there no. were little hazelnut pieces in there. Oh. I, I think it's, it tastes very coconutty. Coconutty, yeah. The idea yeah. is good, but whatever this like little like fake wafery stuff that they keep using is just no, no bueno. Let's see if so that's in here. I think this is going to be a, a, a Ludna. It's just, uh, it's not quite quite there, but it's not yeah, terrible. But it's not, it's not bad. All right. I see more chips. I remember this little lady here from the last uh, Russian snack box we did, but I don't know that we had these. They look like chips with a picture of cheese on them. So maybe cheese chips. These are just like um, cheese potato chips made with absurdly addictive Russian cheese. Ooh, addictive Russian cheese. Russia so really provides us with a lot of addictive snacks. Yeah, this is... Uh, had something addictive before. I don't know if you can legally ship that through the mail. Universal Yums. Let's see. Ooh, they smell... Not addictive. Not addictive. They don't smell addictive. They kind of smell like cheese. They actually kind of smell like uh, like odiferous cheese, if you've ever... Like soft like, cheese. Like soft cheeses, yeah, that are kind of like feet. Boop. 
They're good. They're good. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes uh, like a regular Lay's, so no, no, no ripples, uh, no ridges. But uh, they have a nice, like, uh, cheddar-y kind of mm-hmm. taste. Of them. It actually looks like Swiss cheese on the package. I don't like Swiss cheese, but this doesn't taste like Swiss cheese. No. It tastes like regular cheese. It's good. Tasty stuff. Much better, Russia. Known it. Potatoes are known as the devil's apple. Why? In Russia. That's what it says. Okay. Devil's apple. Well, I do enjoy your devil's apple I'm just chips. throwing out some trivia as we go. Good times. Good times. Uh, so these are good. Uh, I'm yeah. happy to give these a, a vukusna. Oh, this is a very, oh, like, yeah. uh, like re-giftable box here. <laughs> uh, Janet's Bakery. That sounds Russian. Yeah, Janet. Orange and vanilla. Oh, but there's a lot of Russian there, so maybe that's 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 very interesting. What do you got? Orange and vanilla biscuits, light and crispy with a touch of fresh orange. Ah, open they it. have a very, yeah. uh, like, German-style package here that has a, a way to open it. It is a Christmas time in Russia. Expect lots and lots of oranges. Interesting. You like oranges as this, like a Christmas gift? I guess so. Like you're walking around the office and people are just handing you oranges. Oh, there's a lot of them. Holy smokes. Ooh, they definitely smell orange. They smell like orange oh, like here. Yes. Like uh, like Grand Marnier or Maybe something like that. Maybe it's orange vodka. There you go. I like it. There you go. It's like a kind of very pasty. Interesting. Boop. <laughs> Mmm, yeah, good. Boy, no. Uh, I don't know how to say good in Russian. Oh, these are really good. These are really tasty. They're a little bit dry, but I kind of expect that. These would be great with like a hot beverage or something like that. Little like hint of like orange liqueur, or, like a like vanilla cookie. Not super but they're not sweet. super sweet. Yeah, yeah not they're not overly sweet. sweet. Really, really nice, and mm. it's it's very like. Like classy packaging. So we'll see if we can put this back together and you might get this for Christmas if you're watching right now. Yeah, no. But really nice. I like it. I'm uh, I'm happy to say Vugusna. This is uh, quite tasty. Oh, here we go. Wafer with hazelnuts. Every box. Every box. Every time. This is completely in Russian. It is nuts and milk chocolate wafer. Russia's softest, nuttiest, cakiest wafer. Wow. This is a lot of like eists. Very bold statements. Yeah. Boom. There we go. Wow. Look at that. It's like a little uh, like brownie. It feels a little firmer though. I don't think it's like a squishy piece of cake like well, the other one was. it's the softest. It's the softiest. So. Mm, definitely wafer. Ooh. This is like a uh, chocolate covered knopper. Mm. Yeah, there's a German snack called Knapper that's like layers of hazelnut and wafers. But this has chocolate all over the outside. And it has some And chunks. it has nuts. Yeah. So it has some texture in it. Yeah, there. these nuts are pretty good. I don't like them. Wow. Delish. I could not take you anywhere. It's really, really nice. I, I would actually like go looking for another one of these. I might not go all the way to Russia, but it is pretty darn tasty. It is good. Also known as... Vukusna. I would say it's the nuttiest. It's, it's probably the nuttiest. I wouldn't say softest or cakiest. But you no, got it's not one soft or cakey. One of three Est. ain't bad. Here we've got some kind of little chocolate bar. Milk pear. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. And I love pear things. Maybe it's fruit. Ripe pear milk chocolate. Rich milk chocolate with an ooey gooey pear filling. Oh, so it's like a caramello, but pear. <laughs> That's interesting. I love wow. pear stuff. It is. It's is... very, like... Like heavy, like it was like well made. It's in this nice foil wrapper. Let's see. Let's see. What, what's the caramello thing? Like stretch it out. Oh, let's see if we can do that with pear. Nope, that just no. breaks right off in a little piece. Okay, I'm gonna bite it. I don't want to. Oh, it's interesting. I kind of like it. It's like a really nice milk chocolate. Yeah. And the pear filling, it's it's fairly subtle, but it has a really like nice pear flavor to it. I think it's a really nice uh, combination. I don't like it. She doesn't like it. Oh, well. I, I think it's really nice, uh, and I'll be enjoying the other one, two, three, four squares of this on my own, apparently. But I, The chocolate I, is really, I think, separately. Yeah, the chocolate's the pear, good. The ooey-gooey pear filling is good. Well, I didn't say it was ooey-gooey, really. 
Well, that's what it says. Ooey gooey yeah, it says ooey gooey, but I, I don't think it 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 was just like a little like little little layer of film inside of there. I don't think it, but but it was really nice, like pear flavor mm-hmm. too. I'm going to give this a Vukuzna, but it sounds like you're more of a Ladna. Yeah, I okay. think that's where I land. All right, we have a really heavy like brick. Uh, completely Russian, something maybe honey flavored. I think there's like a little honeycomb right here. I have no idea. No, no. Oh, no, no. It no. is orange marmalade and cinnamon prianki? Prianik. Prianik. Traditional gingerbread with candy orange jam. Oh, that's that very, sounds good. It's like a like five pounder here. Their version of Hostess. Wow. Wow. Look at this thing. It looks like one of those fruit pies. It does look exactly <laughs> like that. Those are horrible and horrible for you. Wow, this smells very like gingery, cinnamon. Oh gosh, it smells like it smells Christmas. Good. Oh wow. That bite was too big. Oh, and you didn't get any of the stuff inside. It is very dense. Oh yeah, it does have stuff inside. Oh, that stuff. The stuff that's inside smells like cinnamon. Mm. It's pretty it okay. Orange. No, it doesn't taste orange at all. This definitely doesn't taste like orange marmalade. It tastes like gingerbread and mm-hmm. cinnamon, like holiday flavors. It's not bad at all. It's very, very dense. Like it would be quite a challenge to get all the way through this guy without at least three gallons of water to drink. Yeah, mm. it's, but it's not bad. But it's good. Yeah, it, it has like good. this little like. Just like the fruit pies, like the glaze, frosting on the top. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty decent. I, I, I don't hate it. Uh, I can't imagine. I mean, it might break the vending machine when you got this and then this falls it's down. so heavy. It's, it is really heavy. So this is uh, like for like six people. Okay. But it, it's not bad. It's not a, a Vokuzna to no. me. I think it's just a, a Ladna. But it's good. But it's not bad. Yeah. We saved Ooh. a winner here. We have... White and extra almond, which I believe is probably white chocolate with almonds, which is a fave at our household. So, it looks really, like, classy. Yeah, it's just a decadent white chocolate with whole almonds. Whole almonds. That is one of my most favorite things in the world. Yeah. Whole almonds or white chocolate or decadent? All three. All of those things. Ooh. Goodness gracious. Yeah, you, this is classy, because usually when... You get something that has almonds in it. It has like little like broken slivers of almond. This has big old pieces, if not whole almonds. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't want that much. There you go. Oh, this is a big piece. Yeah, it is. Boop. Delish. Mm-hmm. Supposedly white chocolate is not technically chocolate, but we don't care. This is I don't. this is very tasty. The almonds are really nice. They're not, you know, sometimes when you get almonds in a chocolate bar or almonds that are like baked or cooked into something, they get this like chewy, like rubbery. No, they're really These nice. are nice and crispy. The Absolutely white chocolate awesome. is creamy. Mm-hmm. The this white is chocolate good. is very creamy. You can tell that like a lot went into this. It's not, uh, you know, like a, a Hershey's cookies and cream or some garbage. This is this is very nicely done. This is an awesome way to round out this box. Strong Vukuzna. Very good job, Russia. So, that is our final snack from the Universal Yums Russia box. I don't think, I think maybe one of the like bags of chips was the same that we had from the snack crate box, but essentially it was all different snacks like that we had never had before. Some of them were were not so good, but uh, I think there were some real winners like uh, white chocolate almond bar here. Uh, if you've enjoyed our video, please do nail that like button. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, do nail that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Those of you done, ya! Bye, y'all!